Republican leader. Mr. President, with a new year, we welcome the newest senator, Senator Roger Wicker of Mississippi, to the 110th Congress. With the resignation of our friend Trent Lott, the former Republican whip, Governor Haley Barber has appointed Senator Wicker to fill the remainder of his term. He could not have made a finer choice. Senator Wicker may be new to this chamber, but he is no stranger to serving the people of Mississippi and the nation. The son of a Mississippi state senator and circuit judge, public service has long been his life's calling. It all began with his service as a House page in 1967 to Representative Jamie Whitten, the man he would one day succeed in the House of Representatives. Senator Wicker is one of the few people in history to have served as a House page for the congressman he eventually replaced. His first stint of public service left him wanting more. He served his country in the Air Force and retired from the Air Force Reserves in 2004 with the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. He returned to the Hill in 1980 as a staffer to then Representative Trent Lott, a man he would come to know very well. In fact, Senator Wicker has known and worked with both Senators Cochran and Lott for many years. In fact, he and Senator Cochran were both born in the Mississippi town of Pontotoc. I want to make sure I got that right. I'm sure Senator Wicker's friendship with both of these men will only benefit him as he takes up this new office. In 1987, at age 36, Senator Wicker was the first Republican ever elected to the Mississippi State Senate from northern Mississippi since Reconstruction. In 1994, he was elected to the U.S. House to succeed Jamie Whitten, ending 53 years of Democratic possession of that seat. Senator Wicker quickly became one of the stars of the House freshman class of 1994. He was elected that class's president. He won a seat on the powerful Appropriations Committee, and he served on the leadership team as a deputy whip. Around this time, Senator Wicker also gained a keen understanding of how to handle the press attention that goes with being a member of Congress. Allow me to share with my colleagues a brief story to illustrate this. It was three days after the historic election of 1994, which gave Republicans control of the House for the first time in 40 years. Naturally, the 73 members of the 1994 class, one of the largest ever, <clears throat> were getting a lot of media attention. So early that morning, Roger Wicker, the newly elected congressman, was shaving. Suddenly, his daughter burst in and breathlessly yelled, Dad, it's Time Magazine on the phone. This was an important moment. So Congressman Wicker calmly wiped the shaving cream off his face and gathered his thoughts. Then he strode purposefully into the den and picked up the phone. Hello, this is Roger Wicker, he said in his most congressional voice. The voice at the other end of the line responded, Mr. Wicker, this is Time Magazine calling for only $19.95, an annual subscription. <laughs> Senator Wicker will surely have some members of the press who want to talk to him today, and I doubt they will try to sell him magazine subscriptions. Today, Senator Wicker is the story. Senator Wicker, welcome to the U.S. Senate. With a seat in this chamber, you not only have a unique view of history, but a unique opportunity to shape that history for the betterment of the people of Mississippi and for your country.